know. And I thought they were cute when I tried them on. And they're not like ugly, they're just kind of weird. Hi, happy Tuesday. Um, I am at Hannah's. You all know Hannah, I, don't, I say that every time. But we just went on a stroll for an hour. Yeah, we talked about life, talked about jobs. That'll be coming soon. Some job update things, hopefully. Hopefully. Tonight is turning into a like, get shit done night. <laughs> like, hardcore. Um, I have so much to do. So I leave for Oklahoma Friday morning. And when I say Friday morning, I mean like 3 a.m. in the morning because it's an 11 and a half hour drive and our stuff starts at five, but I need to be there a little bit early to check in and kind of, you know, get settled in after a 11 plus hour you know rendezvous but today i had my first job interview finally <laughs> literally it's taken all semester um to get an actual interview um even though i've been working part-time with the company i worked with last summer um it's it's good to actually be like on the real job hunt so we'll see what happens there i don't want to talk about it too much before you know move on in the process that was just the first step but um the office that they're looking at potentially placing me is in california which is super exciting but realistically kind of scary because it's in the san francisco area and that is expensive so i don't know if logistically i can make that work so we'll see what happens in the process i don't want to say too much else but that did finally happen and i have another one tomorrow so things are getting so real and scary and I have so much to do. Guys, I went to the gym. Do I do I already feel, look like a different person? Because I feel like a different person. I've gotten so much done tonight, I feel like. I mean, there's still a whole lot to do. But I'm feeling good. Like, the energy has returned. I don't just feel like sitting here and staring at the wall or, like, losing myself and potato chips and League of Legends. It's a real problem. If you're gonna be around for weekly vlogs, you're getting all the real stuff, man. Like, it is out there on the internet now. Um, <laughs> whatever. So, guys, yeah, I'm feeling so much better. Um, if, if you follow me on Snapchat, I will literally been posting, like, step by step all the stuff that I've, like, put on my to-do list because, honestly, I just need somebody to keep me accountable. And if that's, like, blank space to a bunch of random friends, people that I have acquired on Snapchat. You know what? We're just gonna roll with it. So I have my little poop emoji rainbow post-it <laughs> note stickers here and um, I made my to-do list for tonight and it's like 9.30 p.m. and I think I've actually gotten quite a bit of this done or close to being done. Yeah, I pretty much got it done and it's because I've been posting on Snapchat to update the story that hey, I'm doing stuff. So I feel really good. Can you not tell that I'm like super full of energy now? Well, I'm definitely not going anywhere anytime soon. There's a train in that direction. I obviously can't turn left and that's in front of me. So yay for road construction. Thanks so much guys. I mean, I'm glad you're doing your job, but dang, this is annoying. to attend this retreat um, and network with the eight ladies who are already in the professional field um, and just kind of collaborate and discuss like entering the workforce or you know building your brand and having like a social or offline presence um, as a communicator or just you know as a person so it's been really fun um, I drove like 12 hours yesterday we had a campfire last night, got a little emotional talking about our struggles and weaknesses and like things we're overcoming in our young lives. So it was very, very good and it's gotten off to a really great start. 
So we're staying at the Maudie Ranch for this conference, and this is one of the little rooms that they have. It's like a little pub, is that what they call it? So there's like a bar and a pool table. This place is super cute, um, but it's currently thunderstorming right now in Texas. Or I'm not in Texas yet. I'm in Oklahoma. Yeah, did you catch the yet? Ugh. But it's beautiful. Beautiful in Oklahoma. Guys, this bed was so stinking comfortable. Like, I don't even understand. It was the softest thing in the world. I just love like a baby. So we're just getting ready to pack up. It's so sad. I didn't vlog a whole lot just because we had so many amazing conversations and we just connected with each other so much. I can't. It was so good. I'm so excited to see what these group of ladies do with themselves because they are so talented and amazing. Also, this room smells like Chanel perfume because my clumsy self dropped my perfume this morning and it broke. Um, I'm very sad. I salvaged like a little bit over half of the bottle, I think, so that's fine. But I'm so sad that the thing is broken and now I have to try and travel with it so safely. But I gotta pack up my crap and I am heading to Texas after this, so let's go. Okay guys, I made it to a hotel. Um, it's actually kind of weird, so I think this is supposed to be like an extended stay hotel. But I was in a rush and got something cheap, so it's fine. It's actually really nice and clean, but there's like a little kitchenette, bathroom, single bed, and then like a little desk, which is super cute. Um, and like a fridge and like microwave and stuff, so I'm hungry, obviously. And I have stacked away in my bag that I got before here, so it's probably cold now, but I have a microwave so I could heat it up. So I have been, I mean, I've been to quite a few places traveling, right? You guys should know that if you watch my stuff from further back. Um, and I have been to both coasts and meaning I've had In-N-Out Burger and Shake Shack. But this is my first time to Texas, so I had to get a Whataburger. So we're gonna try this and then I'm gonna tell you what I think and if I think one of the three is better and that's that but it's probably a little cold. Actually, yeah, it's like lukewarm now, but it's a good test for fast food. If they're actually decent, they won't taste gross if it's cold, at least in my opinion, but what a burger. back to Indiana and I'm just wandering around the rest stop because I have been driving for way too long so I'm literally just making myself walk and trying to stretch and wake up a little bit um, I still have like three hours of driving so in total from yesterday morning when I idiotically decided to drive to Houston for basically no reason will have been 21 collective hours of driving with not even close to a full two hours of sleep. I tried to sleep at the rest stop in Arkansas last night, didn't happen. I was like just too, I was too restless to do that. So I did not get to sleep. Um, and it's like, I don't even know, like noon Eastern time, I had an hour different chain sorry that was my poof so that also is screwing me up so I'm just wandering around trying to get some fresh air and wake myself up also this shoulder got sunburnt from driving because of my sunroof being open this one did not really get any sun so that's gonna be fun I don't really tan anyway so it doesn't matter but it's just annoying yeah so dramatic um okay but i should um, i should go drive i really don't want to i can't even tell you how tempted i am to get my yoga mat out and like stretch it out because my leg hurts so bad my freaking car the cruise control doesn't work so i've been trying to uh on occasion drive with my left foot because my other one gets crampy 
it's been fun. I mean, I really did have, a, I'm having a good time, but dude, I'm tired. And my mom is like, I need you to go home and get a turkey. So that added an hour and a half to my drive. So literally collectively by the end of all of this, I will have gone around like 21 hours with not good rest at all. So cheers, cheers to road trips though. I'm honestly like the fact that I can just take off and go like that, I'm a big fan. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to be more transparent in my like vlogs, right? Or like, you know, just like show you all the real stuff that's happening. As you can tell, I'm a freaking mess and I think it's lack of sleep, but I'm also not really sure. I graduate like so soon and I don't have my craft together and I don't know what I'm doing with my life. <laughs> I was supposed to hear back about a freaking follow-up interview today, didn't hear back, which it is, okay, to be fair, it's only 4 p.m. Pacific time, because that's, position is on the coast. I've just got to figure out how to focus, because I literally only have two regular weeks left of the semester, and then it's finals week, and like, I... I don't understand where the time went. I, I literally just got home from the freaking Wales in the UK and now yeah, I'm graduating. Like I don't freaking, like my mind, time has become my biggest enemy. Like I go weeks without talking to people and I feel like I just talked to them a couple days ago and then I realized that I probably just like muffled up, muffed up a relationship or friendship because I just didn't realize that time had passed and I, never responded. I'm so s silly. I'm just a really silly human being and I like to make things complicated. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I need to get this video uploaded for the class and honestly, I'm going to bed after that. This is the only project I really care enough to make sure it's done tonight. The rest can wait till tomorrow because I literally have not slept in over 24 hours. And I, I'm surprisingly, like, I don't know how I, I mean, I kind of look rough, I kind of look rough, but I'm like, okay, I'm not, I, other than me randomly crying about things, you know, but that's not always just from lack of sleep. Sometimes I'm just emotional. So I guess this will be the ending clip as well. If I, I don't think I already did one of those. <sighs> I don't know, guys. This is so stressful. Maybe it'll be better once everything is figured out, but this part, not knowing. <laughs> If this makes it in the vlog, please don't be mean to me. Okay, but in all seriousness, like things are, things are good, okay? Like life is great, but I've just got some stuff to figure out and it's like not all of it is under my control. And I have to remind myself that, that what is not under your control is not your problem to cry about. You have to just have to let things happen how they're supposed to happen. So, now the things that you do control and the things that you screw up, that is your fault. My fault. I need to go to bed. Like, ASAP. <laughs> I'm gonna end the vlog. Thanks for watching. Um, this is awkward. I feel like this one, I want this to go in it, but I just feel like it's so stupid. Stupid. Okay. Also, my face is real red. Maybe I am more rough than I thought. I will talk more about the road trip maybe in a different video setting because I was gonna do a travel diary and I didn't get a lot of footage so I might do something a little different and do like blank number of things that a solo road trip taught me yeah because I really need to shut up I'm I will see you guys tomorrow starting with week 16